All right, we've got a busy day today. Hyped up on some Zach coffee. Anyway, let me show you guys. I got my motor running. Went up for a spin. <laughs> what is that boy right here? Ah. That's dirty, I used to have it nice and clean. It's time to work. Let's do this shit. All right, first thing I'm gonna do here today, <clears throat> I got fuel from everybody, right? Um, I'm gonna we're gonna be running. They are gonna be running, including myself. One gallon. I'm gonna go with this. I've had this for a while. Some clots oil. All right, it's also pretty good. Um, after we're done with one gallon of this stuff. Of 24 to 1, everybody's gonna be running the Amsoil Dominator up there. Alright. One, the, the Interceptor is very good as well, but the, the one with the red cap, the Dominator. Alright, I've said it many times already. This is also very good shit. <clears throat> Alright, but it's, it's more, it's the bluish tint. Anything with the bluish tint is more for like. Um, lawn equipment and stuff, uh, chainsaws, weed whackers, blowers, all that stuff. This is also very good and clean, um, but I like uh, protection, lubrication, high revs. Um, we're, we're taking these little, yeah, we're taking these little weed whackers style motors to the limit. Sometimes we over rev them accidentally up in the air doing jumps. We're over revving these things. All right, sometimes we're running different types of fuels uh, and um, the dominator is, is overkill. All right, it's really meant for like race banshees, really high performance, big ass two strokes. But um, why not? Why not run it on our little motors here, huh? Why not? Okay. You know? Okay, so each, each one, each person We're gonna be running 24 to 1. Grab yourself a ratio right cup. And go right there. 24 hours. That's to one gallon. That will make one gallon, okay? I'm gonna do that for each tank. My buddy Paul did not have time to go pick up a. See, even this shit's good stuff. Red gold uh you guys know more or less uh, colors and oils so what's uh, meant for these higher revving motors anything like in the blue side most of the time is for lawn equipment uh chainsaws high you know chainsaws weed whackers blowers performance uh oils for two-stroke motors the majority of the time most of the time it's like a pinkish reddish color even some are gold you know so anyway, here we go. Okay, and what I like to do, you see in my past videos, I'll, from here I'll put fuel from the tank to here, swish it around. I'll make sure I get everything out because there's still plenty of oil there. And I don't feel like being in here for two hours to wait till everything comes out. So throw some fuel in here, swish it around, put it back in. Once it's in here, 
obviously you're gonna have to shake it up shake it shake it shake it okay that's why I recommend these fuel tanks you get the one and a quarter gallon and then you mix your one gallon and then you still have plenty of room to swish it around understand I do not recommend these these uh, little fuel tanks that are almost exactly a, a gallon all right so next fuel tank this is my cousin nitro and gas brother anthony all right uh just put it on we just want to show it i know uh, there's no need to be showing everybody's fuel tank but i have to just to have it on record and proof now this is the fuel tank i recommend The soil is, would be great to break in motors, right? I like it how it has 20% castor oil mixed into it. All right, now we got peppies. You know, you know what? All these gas tanks came from my buddy Chris's job, where he works. He works at a small engine shop. Um, Chris delivered this one here personally for Peppy already some couple of months ago and this one here I picked up when I had a day off from work when I was at his shop don't mind I bought at tractor supplies upstate New York and another one I bought at another tractor supply in Pennsylvania yeah you can find them all over but anyway let's do Peppy's mix like for me, my most concern of breaking in the motor is um, the heat cycles. Now, I'm brought that with the heat gun. It's very important. A lot of guys don't have patience for that. They think just by running their motors, it's getting heat cycled. No. Expanding the metals, contracting the metals, heat, cold, heat, cold. That's the most important thing. Obviously, running it, plenty of lubrication, so you do uh, lubricate the bearings and everything. And go through the whole process. Go ahead. This Peppy's mix. Okay, just for records. All right. I got about under a gallon, almost a gallon, almost a gallon of Cam 2 100 octane with Amsoil Interceptor fuel in here mixed. Okay? 28 to 1. All right, this is what I'm going to do for myself. I'm no longer going to be running this on my personal 32cc knockoff Zanola motor. All right, that's my real van. That's the one. Uh, all right, just to let you guys know, whoever sees this video, whatever, my subscribers probably know about it already. But if you guys just pop in here, whoever it is, this is to me a hoopty RC, right? I just got this so I can build off this platform. I got. If you guys go back, I got plenty of goodies, a lot of parts that I'm going to be putting on my personal Baja platform, okay? Um, I didn't get this platform to be, oh, yeah, yeah, I got, I got much nicer RCs, but what I want to do, I, I, I'm a wrencher. I like to wrench on shit and run shit hard and whatever. I like RPMs, I like power, I like speed, I like all that. I like MT, MT stuff, climbing, uh, torque, not, I'm not worried about on MT stuff, I'm not worried about top speed, none of that. I don't have it geared for top speed. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a, like a faster top speed-ish all around car, Baja, all right? That's what I'm gonna be building. So anyway, I'm not worried about motors, nothing. I will be beating the snot out of this just to see how long it lasts, okay? I'm in the middle of a process of breaking in that stock one and that stock one, all right? Those two guys are gonna be taking care of that the best they can they're not worried about wrenching they're not worried about um 
changing motors. That's the last thing on their mind right now, okay? Uh, I guarantee you they're gonna be changing fucking exhausts and everything else, but, but um, for now, they're gonna do the best they can to take care of their motor. They're learning, right? They, they've never had a, a, a freaking RC before, or never mind a, uh, any type of RC. This is like their first fifth scale. Um, especially that guy, Paul, right there. He had, he had nothing whatsoever. This guy has seen them and he, he's seen me run them. But anyway, what I'm gonna do to my personal one is I'm just gonna add a little bit more oil here and I'm gonna be breaking in my personal one with this so I don't it doesn't go to waste. So everyone else is running uh Peppy's running 87 octane and and he's mixed with clots oil. Okay. Um Anthony I believe is running 93 octane pump gas. Alright, those two guys are pump gas. And Paul. I think Paul is running uh 93 and Anthony is running 93 or 87. Peppy might be running um, 93 or 87. All three of them have clots oil to break in their motors. Mine, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna use the fuel I got left. All right, almost a gallon. I'm gonna add some more oil, just a little bit more to this, and uh, I'm gonna be breaking in mine with this. All right, just to just to let you guys know. So at the end, we're gonna see what's what, what's up. All right, how they make out. If something happens. We have records that we can go back on, you understand? That's why I'm doing this. Yeah, so a while back I stocked st stocked up on Amsoil Dominator two-stroke oil. I got a whole case of it. All right, this is my Intercept. The Intercept is very good as well. It's a nice golden -ish color to it. You can run this stuff on injected uh, jet skis. Um, Snowmobiles as well, motorboats, uh, outboard motors. So, anyway, I'm gonna just add some more oil to this. The good thing about this oil here is if you do mix oils, it's okay. The Dominator oil, you should not mix them at all with the Dominator. If you guys start running Dominator, if you have oil tanks like in a quad, like my daughter, she has a little 50cc Polaris ATV, two-stroke. Uh, that's um, two-stroke two oil injected. So I mean, we've been running Interceptor for years. Soon we're gonna be running Dominator. I have to take that tank out and completely clean it before I put Dominator. So. Okay, so here we go. Just add. There's your interceptor right there. If if my motor lasts, it will be able to um, taste the red dominator oil in the future. We'll see how it goes. Oof, Cam 2 smells so good. What a difference, man. <laughs> I'm telling, it's such a sweet smell, this freaking Cam 2. It's unbelievable. What, no comparison to regular pump gas. Oh, man. All right, so next step I'm going to do today, uh, I'm going to show you, I'm going to do one car. And what I do to that is what I'm going to do to these, okay? Um, my buddy Peppy already invested in some te team chase stuff, I see. And what else? All right, so this one here is identical almost to a low C5T. So you guys know that setup, how that, that is. All right. Um, that's easy to get to the spark plug. Now on these Bajas, you know, you, you're going to have to be, you're going to have to take this roll cage, this roll bar out to get to the spark plug, but... You, you can also get a wrench like this, all right, five eighths, like that, break a loose, okay, or, or, or use this part, if you have one of these, you go like this, okay, and this is also a ratcheting, all right, and this Craftsman is made in the USA, not that, that 
new craftsman shit that that all right I, I don't even want to get into that you guys already know all right you guys already know how i feel all right All right, so just to let you guys know, this they these uh, Robins are coming with like a good spark plugs now, none of that weird shit like years ago. They actually did a very big upgrade, a very big improvement. All right, so they are actually using real NGKs, CMR 7H, perfect. All right, so now what we're gonna do on all of these today is I'm gonna throw some penetrating oil in here if you don't have any three-in-one if you don't have any penetrating oil or whatever get yourself some two-stroke oil okay or whatever two-stroke oil you're using get yourself a little bottle or get yourself one of these okay put some two-stroke oil in there put a very little bit amount of gas and shake it up and use that you can put a couple of squirts of that in there let it penetrate a little bit from there you're gonna heat up your motor you're gonna heat it you're gonna go around don't stay in one area the whole time go around go around go around top all over okay don't stop until you reach 180 180 150 all right if you're if you find yourself at 200 don't worry about it stop there okay do not pull on your motor. Do not move that piston until you have oil in there. All right? You don't want that scratching up. <clears throat> yeah, so what I'm going to use and show you guys is I have plenty of stuff. Plenty of stuff. Yeah, I got some real good shit right here. This Kano shit right here is no joke. This is serious. Serious oil right here. Penetrating stuff wise. It's also red. It smells real good too. But um, it's going to be hard for most of you guys to come across this right here. Okay, Croil. Now, most of you guys can get this shit here. If you can't get anything else, if you guys don't feel like messing around with oils and gas, or you can get these, man. Shake it up good. So I'm, I'm gonna do it here so you guys see. Shake it up good. Throw some in there. got some black plenty of squirts in there look at that see that piston was dry before now it's nice and lubed up first thing i'm gonna do to mine is get rid of this fucking hot sticker now um i'm not gonna pull it yet i'm not gonna pull it yet i'm gonna heat her up that's gonna help that oil get in there soak up better into the metal you understand and, and your metals are gonna expand so you know, all that oil is gonna creep in and all that. So once we get that, I'm gonna throw some more drops of fuel. Okay, I'm gonna throw some more drops of fuel in there. And then we're gonna go up and down with the piston. That's it. That's what we want, 190. 188 that's what I want okay so now what we're gonna do is so I got to start hurrying up this filming shit takes too much of my time I wish I had somebody here to give me a hand drill today okay so I threw more three and one in there now we're gonna pull this for the first time slowly without this with, with the spark plug removed that piston going up and down Be nice and smooth, you hear that? Nice and loose, protected. Look at that, spitting out. You got few, you got three and one coming out of there. Oh, see that compression, that heat. Now I want to find that piston bottom dead center, right there. Boom. 
Alright. I don't know if Nitro Cousin Anthony or Nitro Gas Cousin Anthony wants this hot stick of shit here. I'm sure eventually he'll take that crap out. But anyway, now we let it cool down. That's what I do. It's crazy, right? Preheat again. You can do that a few times. Snug. And Nitro Gas Cousin Anthony's Baja is going to be the first one to run out of the pack. First one to start, fire up. Okay. Get this sucker out. Oh, look at that. Nice. Seems to be okay. Oh shit, it's got a pretty big uh, fuel filter in there, man. Wow. I've never seen one of those before. That thing is a bit huge. That's not a regular size. Uh... Hmm. I bet you that sucker will flow well, too. Alright, so... Next thing I do is check the settings on the car. Okay, so I just tightened up my high speed needle. Okay, it's completely closed. It's not over torqued tight, but it's snug, okay? So now I'm gonna bring it to, I'm gonna treat this carburetor like if it's a 668 carburetor, okay? One and a quarter low speed, one and a half high speed. Okay, so we're gonna go half. Another half makes one. Okay, so now we're at one full complete turn. Okay, I'm gonna go another half. Half, boom. That's one and a half turns. All right, I've been getting some emails from some of you guys. What do you mean by one and a half or one and a quarter turns? All right, so done. All right, and that's where pretty much it was from factory. All right, I, I have. In the past, I've gotten many RCs, RTRs that do not come set properly. Uh, I've set and unboxed many friends' RCs in the past before this whole YouTube shit, and um, did not the carbs did not come set right from the factory. So everybody should pre-check their carbs. All right, know what carb you're running. This is not a six six eight; it's some nine nine eight, I believe, or some shit. But it is a Walbro and it's set up, it's got a choke. Pretty much all the ones with the choke are almost all the same. They run the same settings, almost. Not all of them, but yeah, so this one is set up to that. All right, so you guys are gonna see is Anthony's fuel tank. All right, I'll shake it again, I don't care. Even though I knew I shook it like crazy before. Let's check her again. First time ever fuel going in his car. Yep. See this? Wow, it's not leaking, right? Look, hit the button. Cool shit. See that? And it keeps it. it keeps it from not leaking. See that? We're gonna prime it for the first time, okay? This is, you guys are gonna see this. Natural cousin Anthony. Now, everything I'm doing to this, I'm gonna be doing to the others as well, okay? I'm not gonna show the others. Maybe I'll show the Roven LT320. Look at that, now we're getting some fuel in here. We're getting some priming in there. See that? Prime the shit out of your crap. Prime it, prime it. Make sure there's some fuel in there ready to go. Check for leaks. Make sure that all the fuel lines are hooked up correctly before you fire this up. Make, make sure that there's no leaks from the carburetors. All right. Make sure all the fuel lines are connected. You can prime as much as you want. Okay, so this thing has a choke. 
You want to go up and down with your piston a few times. That way you get some fuel into that cylinder now to mix up with your three in one. All right, now that. Damn! It's just a pop. No choke. I see some smoke. I'm gonna give it a little feel, a little gas, a little with my finger on the carburetor. Smelling here. All right, all right. Anthony's motor is on its uh, cool down right now. I'm gonna fire this guy up. The Roven LT320 is a great platform, the low C 5T platform. And this is my buddy's Peppy's first fit scale ever. He's very proud of it. I'm very proud of him having it. So you can come out with it. Okay, we got the spark plug out. I like to take a look in that piston. There it is. Okay, boom. Throw some three in one in that sucker. I just finished sh shaking it up. Look at that. Okay, I'm not gonna pull it yet. I'm gonna saturate it with heat. I'm gonna give it heat. You guys, if you guys get these brand new, you have to go all over everything. Loctite everything on these bitches, okay? Yeah, I don't know if he took these out and Loctite them up, but I am going to torque them down for them once it's hot. Um, we have to do some um, heat cycles now, okay? So, next thing I like to do, as you guys saw, I see a choke. That tells me it's going to be similar to the 668 carburetor. Wall broke, okay? What? The high speed over here was not good. The high speed here was not good, so I'm glad we got to do this. I'm glad. All right, so we're going to go one and a half with the high speed. Okay, that's half, one, one and a half, okay? Low speed, we're going to go one and a quarter. Close it up, right? We're going to go half. It's one full turn, then quarter. Copy that. Okay, now, carb is set. Carb is set. We got oil in the motor. She's she's working. She's working. All right. She's saturating. She's working her way. She's doing her job in the metals. All right. Now we're gonna blast it with some heat. Heat is gonna do everything. Happy Anthony Paul. If you guys see this, man, you guys are gonna invest in some outerwear, bro. <clears throat> have to invest in some outer legs. Okay, I got her up to 180. That's good enough. 180, 190, 200. It's good enough, guys. Okay, now just make sure it's over 150. Now, I just threw some couple more drops of the three in one, and now we're gonna go like this slowly. That oil that shine in there on the piston. I don't know if you guys could see it. Go up and down. See, so much smoother. So much smoother. All right. Before my buddy said, Oh man, I can't even it's stuck. Why is it stuck? I'm like, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing because you're gonna scratch that cylinder. Look how much easier it is now. Alright, see it? Now you work it nice and slow. Work the piston up and down. All right now I'm gonna shoot her. I'm gonna... See that? You saw it. See that? The compression. I smell it. I smell the three in one. I smell it. Now, when you go fast, that oil is getting everywhere. Even your connecting rod, your crankshaft, it's it's going everywhere. All right. So this is just protection, guys. Okay. Slap this sucker on quick. 
slap this bitch on. Yeah, the 5T platform, low C 5T platform is so much easier to work on. But I just had to do a Baja build again. Yeah, I but think today should have been a live video instead of just filming crap. Would have been faster. But what are you going to do? Um, we got to get Peppy's fuel now. Look at this shit. Got to do Peppy's. Happy already has some goodies here. Look at this guy with the DDM fuel cap. Look at this guy. It's Roven chassis braces that I picked up for him. The blue really doesn't match well, but look, it's not bad. Can't com cannot complain about the price. So I think one might be King Motor blue, and the other one is Roven blue. That's why. Anyway, here's Peppy's fuel tank. Shake it up, shake it up. Oh, and man, it also has a big ass fuel filter in there. I wonder if those fuel filters are uh, good. Boom. Peppy, first time fueling up, brother. There he goes. You're gonna finally hear her run. Okay, first time. Peppy's first fifth scale ever. Carbs adjusted. Stop priming her, guys. First thing you guys do. Prime the fuck out of her. Alright. Let's keep priming her. Check for leaks. Make sure there's no leaks nowhere. Okay. Now. Choke. Choke is on. I'm gonna go up and down with the piston a few times so we get some fuel in there. Get some fuel into that cylinder and mixed with that three in one. Oh sh damn this damn this this thing I wants to run right now, bro. This guy wants to fight right now, bro. What the f what the hell is that? I didn't even <laughs> Damn, this guy can't wait, but that's a good sign, right? There. All right, let's see. I need to give her some throttle. I wish my daughter was here. Hold on. Look at that, huh? Give her some throttle for the first time. Let me see. I want to give her a gas so bad. I want to hear that son of a bitch. It's going to sound nice. But do not be, be tempted to rev your motor. That's the first time ever it's running. Do not be giving it gas. Let her warm up. Let her run. Let her heat cycle. Let her Gotta move on. Okay, so now Peppy's Roven LT320 32 cc motor is cooling down. We're gonna fire up poles. Same thing, same thing. Just proof that I am doing it. Let that sucker sit in there. Three and one has been great today so far working with us. All right. Oh snap. I'm gonna give her a little throttle. Right? Take the choke off. When you hear that sound, take the choke off. Stop doing that because you're gonna dirty your spark plug and you're gonna flood the motor. Choke off.
for mine. All right, let me show you guys what's going on here. This is both the gels RC, and mine has to be the most headaches. It's unbelievable how this shit works, but well, I wasn't gonna even show you how I preheat and all this crap with this because I've done it with these already, right? Well, let me show you guys what I found, what I came across, because this could could come across any newbie, any guy, anybody. When you buy something, shit sometimes comes to you unexpected. So let me show you. First problem I find so far, everything's been great so far. All right. Uh, mine. First problem we have is this. Can't remove your spark plug out because this happened. It just came out like it was nothing. All right. It was, there's a I guess a defect with the shit or whatever. So I'm gonna have to fuck with this now. Um, if this motor does turn out to be good, like uh, what I've been hearing, I'm going to be putting a uh, MSD spark plug anyway. But um, not for a while. I'm not going to be working on this shit now, you know what I'm saying? I want to start breaking her in. Um, I haven't even started running this yet because of this problem. Alright, so I'm going to try to uh, move this boot over, fix this, pull this out, spend a little time on this. So I can fire this sucker up today, okay? Oh, there we go stuck in here man all right so i'm gonna take the spark plug out i'm gonna pre-luber and put some three in one there just like all the others i'm gonna saturate this sucker with heat throw some heat in there i'm gonna move this piston up and down all right so got the spring back on there all right maybe i should have showed you guys it's very simple the copper coil has a hook in it and it you squish it down into um, your cable wire, right in the middle, all right? And uh, that, that pokes into your wire, all right? Then I just loop this up a little bit, this boot, and I just snug it in, snug, okay. Just snugged her in, all right? Spark plug boots back on, spark plug is on. I just preheated it up to 190. Um, I'm gonna get some fuel. Okay. I'm gonna prime it for the first time. Obviously, it's going to be way easier for you guys. It's going to be way easier for you guys because you're going to be doing one at a time. But when you're doing all these, or well, multiple, um, you get used to it after a while. But but it it sucks. It could be really uh, I don't mind it. But to your average person, uh, well, no, my my high speed was wrong. My high speed was not good. Half, one, one and a half. Okay, so the low should be at one and a quarter. Okay, you can do one and a half just in the beginning, but let me bring it to one and a quarter. I'm gonna show you guys. Half, one, one and a quarter. Okay. If you go half, it's gonna be richer than normal, but which um, I will be doing. I'm gonna see how these guys Just run. Priming her really well again. I wanna put the choke on for the first time on mine. I'm gonna pull her slowly a couple times. good sign see once you guys hear that stop stop do not keep going stop go to your choke take it off choke okay I wish I had you guys with your 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 um, your remotes in the beginning you may have to just give it a little gas a little gas when you give her 
let's see. Let's see if she fires up the way it is. Without any gas, without without me giving it throttle on the car, okay? Let's see. Nope. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give her a little bit of fuel, a little bit of gas here, a little bit of throttle. Alright? You gotta remember the reason why it's not firing up right away is it's because it's got three in one there, a lot of three in one, so it's kinda a little flooded out. So you give her gas, see? Smoke and the sound, see the smoke there? She should fire up right now. Check out the sound system, though. 